What's up ladies and gents, I'm Legion 27 and welcome your faces to another how-to video. Today I'll be showing you how to install Star Wars Empire at War mod, Thrawn's Revenge. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is find the mod itself. So I do have a link in the description below, but here it is right here. So you'll find this link in the description. And what you're going to need is the Imperial Civil War 2.1 zip and the... Uh, 2.1 stabilized patch slash GC fixes as well. Um, so how you do this is that you click on it and you click on the download button. Boom! On both of those and the download will come up right here. And then once it's done you just click on them and you'll get something like whoop, wait for it like this and let's see if I can get the other one yep and these two things right here what you do is what at least what I did is I put both of these into one folder so I can uh, get to them quicker so once you have those folders you need to go and actually open up let's go back to this nope this one so what you gotta need to do Ooh, nope nope this one okay what you need to do <laughs> is that you need to open the manual which is right here so double click that um, I don't know what oh there it goes and what you'll get is the Star Wars Thoughts Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.1 manual scroll down just a little bit and you'll find this little index here and you'll go to installation and what we're going to be looking at is right here and so what you're going to need to do now is that you're going to need to put this folder or both those folders that I just showed you, these two, in this area right here. And this is where I'm going to show you how to get there. Here we go, right here. And I'm going to have this in the description so you can follow it. So you're going to go to your uh, PC, go, go to Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common Star Wars Empire at War at yeah Star Star Wars Empire at War, and then corruption, and you'll get to here. When you get to here, you're not going to have well, depending whether or not you've done this sort of thing before with mods, um, you're not going to have this folder right here. You're going to have to make it. And how you make it, a folder is that you right click on an open space, go to new, click folder and you type in uh, mods and that's all you're going to have to do but once you've done that open this folder up and you're not going to have these in here just yet but this will be blank and you're going to take both of these this and this and you're going to put them right in that mods folder all right with me so far good okay so the next step is that you're going to go to Steam. And we're going to find out if this is going to work or not. So go to Steam, find your Star Wars Empire War Gold Pack, go to right click on it, go to Properties, and go to Set Launch Options. And then you're going to type or copy and paste this in. I'm going to have this in the description as well. Uh, it says mod path in all caps equals mods slash and then the folder. Now this is actually how you do all mods in Star Wars Empire at War. So you're going to have this typed in here. Press OK. Close. And you should be good to go. Now to check if it's working, go into right click. Star Wars Empire War Gold Pack and go to Forces of Corruption. You do not want to uh, press play or go to the start or yeah play game because it only goes to the vanilla version and not the expansion. Now it's going to come up in just a second with this right here but it's also going to crash real quick. You're going to hear a, like a ding and just a couple seconds. There it is. So once you hear that ding, just uh, press Control Escape or Alt Tab. 
And what you're going to see here is this little uh, error. So what you're going to do, click it, and you go straight back into the uh, game. And it should work. Again, that little error right there is going to be just fine. Whoa! There's the intro. So, yeah, that's technically it. And there you go. Star Wars Thrones Revenge. Got your single player. Got your multiplayer. Got all those good things right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this how-to video. Go check out Corey Luz's channel, the creator of Thrones Revenge. His link is down in the description as well as all the other links. If you have any questions, please comment below. Like this video if it helped you at all. And subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bitches.